Yeah, I'm here studying my chemical symbols and uh, elements from the period periodic table of elements. The, peri the periodic table of elements, which contains the um, atomic number and elements. But as I study, it's good to have a snack. And one of the things I made for myself today, well, really a lunch snack. Um, I made two hot dogs here. I'm going to enjoy eating my hot dog as I study. So it's good to study. Um, uh, maybe have a snack or a meal or study. I know most people say, oh, don't do that. Uh, it's not too healthy that way. Eat and study. Yeah, I think I can, I can manage it, but look at that. Look at those hot dogs. Uh, with mustard and uh, sweet relish. I want to enjoy this hot dog, these two hot dogs. Uh -huh. um, so let me get back to my studies. I'm trying to uh, show ways that uh, you can you can do um, you can do uh, chemical symbols. And one way is by looking for words that we know that relate to them. For example, capital A and a small G equals silver. Capital S L capital S I L V E R, which is the chemical symbol for silver. It's capital G A and a small G. Um, a good word for that is wagon. Capital W A G O N. Wagon. As you see here, I made that the, the, the uh, capital W stays the same. The small A is capitalized. We keep, we're keeping the small G, but the, but the A is capitalized. It's, and the G here is too small for silver. Capital A and a small g for silver. We got the O with a capital O for oxygen, and the N is a capital N for nitrogen. And we got the word wagon. W A G O N. And there you go. Okay? W is for tungsten. Capital T U N G S T E N. A, a, a capital A and a small g is for silver. Capital S I L V E R, Cap, uh, a capital uh, O is for oxygen. Capital O X Y G E N, capital N is for nitrogen. Capital N I T R O G E N, and you got wagon. See, you, you got the A, the capital A and the G, or in wagon, right here for silver. Okay, now let me go now and. Uh, eat my uh, hot dogs uh, all right I want you go now um, over and out bye bye